Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. I had a request to do a specific uh, shape to put it into a print and cut file so that it looks just like the shape that's in the store. And the shape we're going to be working on is this heart house right here by Sweet Alton. So we're going to do like we did in the last video. The first thing we're going to do is get a screenshot of the heart house. <laughs> uh, on a Mac, I hold Command Shift 4 and I can take a picture of just that house on a Windows. You're going to hit print screen and then you're going to have to go into either Word or um, Microsoft Paint and right click and paste it and if you're when you do it on a, a Windows machine it's going to make the whole screen in your shot so you might want to crop it down so you have just this heart house. Okay now we're gonna open this up on our mat When this image comes in on your mat, it is all separate pieces. It's not a put together flat image that looks like this, and that's what we're trying to do. This one is more complicated than a lot of them. Um, so bless your heart, Nancy, <laughs> who asked me to do this video. I, this isn't a, a typical easy one, but we can. We're going to do this. this is, it's not hard. It's just a little more. It has a few more steps. So the first thing we're going to do, while it's selected, right click, ungroup. And while that's ungroup, I want you to notice this. See how each one of these circles is a separate image from the roof? You can tell that they're all separate by the little gray boxes that just went around them. Same with the windows are separate from the house. So that's the first thing we have to take care of. So we've ungrouped. Let's click off of it. And I'm going to move this heart out of the way move my image out of the way so that I can just deal with this roof. And what I mean by they're all separate, see if I move this, it's going to go out of alignment. And that that is two separate images. One thing you can't do is put two cut images on top of each other and because the silhouette doesn't know which one to cut, so it will cut the one that is on the bottom, I believe. But there's a way to fix that. It's called a compound path. And what a compound path means is you have multiple cut lines within an image. So that's what we need to make this into because there's going to be a cut line that goes around the edge, but we also want these cute little scallops to cut out. So what we do is we select the roof and the circles. Everything's got gray boxes around and we've got it all selected. Right click, make compound path. So now what we've done is make this into one image. Okay, now let's move the heart out of the way and let's move this tree out of the way because we want to do the same thing to this. Again, if we move this house, see how the windows are not attached to it? We need to select it and all its pieces, right click, make compound path. And again, that just means you have a file that has multiple cuts in it. You have the outside cut, and each one of these windows need to be cut. So now that we made it a compound path, that's one piece, okay? So let's do the easy part. Let's select the window. Let's select the paint bucket. And let's fill it with our sample color. Let's select the house. Select the paint bucket, select our sample, fill that. The heart, we'll fill it with that color. The tree, fill it with our green. And the trunk, fill with brown. Okay, now the next thing we need to do is worry about our cut lines. Since we're not going to cut this as individual pieces, I'm going to make this easy. Let's just put, get it all together. Let's select everything and hit cut lines, no cut. We don't want any of those pieces to cut because we want this all to cut as one image. Okay, so let's go back to our home window. Alright, 
now let's put these together. You can see this heart is behind the roof, so let's just click on it, right click, bring to front. Alright, we're going to move the house up. And we need to send that to the back so that the scallops show. Right click, send to back. And our little tree. Let's see. There's our little tree. Okay, now we've got our image that looks like our sample. So at this point you want to click everything, right click, group. Okay, now this is moving as one piece. We can resize it now. Or I, if it, while it's big we can go ahead and make our cut line. So we're going to select or Select the image, it's one piece now. We're going to go to the cut lines and let's see, cut edge. So it's right. We're good. We're going to resize this to whatever size you want to cut it. And since it's a print and cut, we need to turn on registration marks. We need to go to our page settings and choose 8.5 by 11 or whatever works for your printer. And that's it. You're going to send that to your printer and then send it to the silhouette and you have your, your back piece or your cut file. I hope this helps Nancy and if you need any more help let me know. That was a complicated image. Not, not your typical one. So good luck. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks. Bye.